Hello everybody, today uh, we're going to work on a Samsung Galaxy A32 and what we're going to do today is to replace the charging port. This phone is not charging properly and for this we're going to need like, um, you know, like this scraper thing, this thin um, pry tool, uh, suction cup, uh, <clears throat> you know, some other pry uh, tools, sorry about the mess, a guitar pick. Uh, to go in the middle like to run it around when we warm it and try to open it with this so as you can see right here um you should get also um either a hair dryer or a heat gun in this case i'm using a hair dryer so if you see a guy buying a hair dryer don't judge him he might be um a painter or a phone fixer guy and anyway, we also need to dry our hair sometimes. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is warm the glue on the back. And then I'm gonna put the suction cup and then I'm gonna put my pry tool um, in between the back glass because anyway, it's not glass, to be honest with you, it's plastic. So I'm gonna put it in, open that little cup. And then what I'm going to do right now is put the guitar pick. And while I'm putting it with the suction cup, I'm gonna run the guitar pick around trying to get the glue off so if the glue comes a little bit out just try to put it back um, so I already removed the back part and we're gonna do it little by little I'm not trying to uh, make this video longer than what it's supposed to be but what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna start to use my triple zero screwdriver Phillips screwdriver and I'm gonna remove the screws so this is the part this is the charging port the one I'm gonna need to uh, replace but first I'm gonna have to remove all the screws either you see it's like almost like 15 screws you know the ones that are in the bottom and at the top and after I do that I'm gonna use my uh, my hair blower or heat gun again to hit the glue around as you can see me right here um, sorry about the orientation of the video but it's kind of hard to record with one, one hand and work with the other one so um, I start with the ones on the top and keep going all of them in general the important thing here is when you're removing the screws try to keep them organized as I have them here one by one and then um, we proceed with the rest so I can show you right here it's a Philip screwdriver uh, you can get double zero or triple zero just find out it comes with the kits anyway so now that I remove all the screws I'm gonna go and use the pry tool again but first we're gonna warm it up um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to try to get on one of these corners as you can see so I'm gonna try to get it there and try to pry it and keep going with the guitar pick so as you can see I already opened a gap right here so what i'm doing right now is keep running the guitar pick around the plastic guitar pick trying to uh, release the clips there is clips in the bottom so you run it just be careful uh one important things that i forgot to mention and you can learn from my mistakes is remove the sim card tray that's the first thing we have to do always when we're going to work with the phone uh no matter what kind of phone it is it's more recommendable to do that so as you can see right now um it's already loose so that's the main uh character of this story the guitar pick is helping me a lot and as you can see right now it's loose so i'm gonna remove uh the stuff and then we now we finally got access to the charging port so as you can see right here I have everything here in the charging port we only gotta disconnect the blue cable and the white cable just um, an advice that I always give when we are taking things apart is to take a picture before they assemble it and the connector the ribbon cable connector that you see in the middle that's the one for the battery so that's the only three we have to remove and a screw that I'm gonna show you up later and as you can see you have to be careful with this this is only put like pressure like um, like a jeans you know like a, a jeans button like you just press it you make sure it's pre-aligned if you can use the uh, tweezers I recommend you use tweezers to align it and push it with another uh, hard part in this case I use this flat screwdriver to remove them 
and I'm gonna use the same to press them but uh, you have to work it out a little bit and align it as you can see I already removed those um, in the blue one right now so these um, cables run through a little gap around the battery that as you can see I'm gonna the same way that I'm gonna get the stuff out that's the same way it's going back in so as you can see right here I'm gonna proceed to disconnect the other two I already got the white one and as you can see right here um, most of the job is done like the most difficult part is done and I removed the blue one right now and also the one that connects to the battery which is that one it's just all of them goes uh, pressure so you just apply pressure to get it down we finally um, I removed that screw the one that hold holding the, the port that it was over here so and then once you do that you will able to take it out and once you take it out so we get the new part right now this is the time when we get ready the new part we get it out of the bag and we're gonna place it in the when I place it on the phone, it's exactly the same thing. So when you do this, I wanna tell you that you're not only replacing the charging port, you are killing two birds on one shot because uh, in this uh, charging port, you can see there is an earphone jack. So you're replacing both things at the same time. So I wanna show you the screws they send me. This is funny, this is kind of screw they send me. Uh, like if you're gonna be doing anything with this is impossible because it's too little uh, I'm glad I had the other kits that other phones that I've been using as you can tell as you see in my toolkit I have a lot of experience because I've been doing a lot so what we're doing now right now is putting it back aligning the charging port and make sure is everything is in cor the correct order the same way I got it out the same way I'm putting it in so I'm gonna be working now and I'm gonna put the screw back. As soon as I put the screw back, I'm gonna start to deal again with the wires. Once again, it's very important that you plug these wires properly. Uh, otherwise you might have problems with the signal, you know. Right now I'm putting the screw back again and then you have to be careful, you know, everything has to be aligned and when you press it, you know, make sure it, it 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 gets there. You know, like don't bend any connectors. Just like use a, a magnifying glass if you need to wire it uh, to align the connectors because you have to press uh, to connect them, right? So I'm gonna connect the battery wire uh, right here, and then the other two cables, the blue one, and I'm gonna run it through this gap that I mentioned before uh, that's where they came out so the same way I'm gonna put it back so as you can see right now I already plugged the one from the battery and the two cables and the last thing I'm gonna do um, sorry I didn't show you the process of doing that it takes a little patience and I didn't want to make the video longer so what I'm doing right now is pressing again the frame that I removed you know making sure the clips uh, goes in place right there properly and you go around inspect the phone pretty well and what I'm gonna do of course you want to warm it up but first uh, we're gonna put the screws again the same way we got them out we put them back one by one um, be patient don't put extra strength when you tighten these screws because you don't need um, you don't need to um, to apply too much pressure you know like you just um, make the torque until the screw stop going in so finally um, I did finish with the screws and what I'm gonna do right now is warm up the glue from the back part so I'm gonna use the blower to warm up the glue that is around the foam do not stay with the heating gun like this is a blower that's why I'm getting a little bit closer but with a heat gun you have to be a little bit upper and so and don't stay in the same place too much time because you can burn any circuit on the phone so now that i put the back part so i place it back i make some pressure in the phone to make sure uh, the back plate sits pretty well i warm up one more time now that the back part is placed again 
and then I'm gonna heat it up again and make sure press it down make sure it's in place that way the glue is gonna stick back again and this is it so as you can see right now um, I'm finished all the process right now I'm gonna put the SIM card tray back again and then we're gonna plug it up so this is the moment of the truth and this is a good news because we are watching that logo that logo means that it's picking up the charger connector so we're gonna give it a little time and see what happens so right now I hold the power button and it seems to be booting up turning on right now and we're just gonna leave it one more time by itself like 15 minutes or 10 minutes let's see what happens so as you can see right now I let it for a little while and it's charging right now properly so we succeed in the project so thank you for watching and see you on my next video